this talk, I'm going to provide you with an overview of a, a model that, um, for BBC that Terry Harvey and I um, created at University of Delaware for, with an NSF BBC demonstration grant. So service learning is a pedagogy that expresses it exposes students to the needs to, of a larger society. It engages them in addressing these needs through service and then connects what they're doing in the classroom with real world uh, conditions. Our goal has been to have the students gain skills pertinent to their major while doing service and that service is towards broadening participation in computing. The model that we developed is a technical elective course that has three parallel activities going on. One is developing uh, team software engineering skills, uh, working with teachers and students at a needy middle school, and then developing their communication skills. And so they're doing presentations and critiques and uh, role playing in class and uh, client meetings with those uh, middle school teachers. And as part of the software engineering, they're developing learning games. A key component is the partnership between the college faculty and students and the local K-12 educators. So we identified a potential need and we actually just called them up on the phone. On the phone. Um, we offered them what we thought was a significant resource, the computer science students that could create software for them and teach lessons for them. And they offered the teachers as real world clients for our students uh, and students from a different culture. So to increase the participation of these teachers, what we do is we hold professional development workshops in the summers and the afternoons. And here we can tell them what we offer them, make contacts, and discuss the challenges that they have. So the way it's structured is the students are, uh, student teams are matched with teacher teams, and they kind of work through the entire software engineering process, from client introduction all the way through um, them actually using the software in the class. So the students get to work with clients that aren't professors and clients that often aren't comfortable talking about technology. And so we do a lot of role playing in class to try to make this work well. The students actually go and deploy the software, these learning games, to the classroom. They watch the students use them, which is quite interesting. They interview the students. Uh, and this becomes a really powerful experience in the class. So through teamwork and self-guided lear learning, the students are actually learning to program with this really unique platform in addition to learning a new programming language and learning how to program with it in a GUI kind of uh, environment. So to prepare the students to go do this service, we actually first send them to the classrooms just to observe students in their normal day. And we do a lot of role play of teacher client meetings. Uh, and we look at the state assessment uh, board exams. So the students are learning. We also bring in specialists so that they can learn about a concept of learning. Different students have different learning styles and what challenges those teachers might have in the classroom. And then our teams actually create and, and conduct actual teaching lessons for, in Scratch. So they're teaching them how to program in Scratch. And then we come back and we reflect on those experiences. Sometimes the teachers ask if our students can go find them some resources. So they go out and they'll look for new apps for, for that Exo laptop for those uh, teachers and actually install them for them. And then um, our students are building lots of communication skills. We do presentations and critiques in class. It's a very open classroom. Um, it's not lectures at all. Um, and they're actually going and teaching those uh, students and working with the teachers. So we think that this is a really good model to broaden participation at the K-12 level and also strengthen the college CS students. And the students in the middle school really look at our kids as role, role models that can create cool technology. So the course has been run four times over the last three years. It's offered once a year. Um, and we've gotten a lot of good uh, feedback from the teachers, the administrators, and our, our students. And now what we're doing is we're leveraging it for the CS10K goals and creating a one credit service learning course with professional development workshops. So the idea is, and <laughs> I can steal some ideas. The idea is you can reach them with lots 
with college students as opposed to one teacher, one professor.